Hello viewers, welcome to today's tutorial and in today's video we are going to attempt to solve the equation x cubed minus 27 is equal to 0. What we need to remember uh, is that this is a cubic equation and being a cubic equation we will end up with three different roots and out of the three roots, one must be a real number. To be able to solve this particular equation, we are going to use uh, the identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared. So that's the identity we are going to use and for that reason we will rewrite x cubed minus 27 is equal to 0 as x cubed minus 3 cubed is equal to 0. Of course 3 cubed is equal to 27. So now from here we can try and compare and see that our a is equal to x and our b is equal to 3. So we want to try and put the new values of a and b, x and 3, into our uh, expansion there. So a, uh, which is now x, minus b which is now 3 so that is x minus 3 into a squared is x squared plus a b a b is 3x because a is x and b is 3 so a b is 3x and then we'll add b squared and of course b squared is 3 squared which is equal to 9 and the whole of that will be equal to 0. We have two distinct numbers here x minus 3 on one hand and x squared plus 3x plus 9 on the other and we can see that the product of these two numbers is equal to 0 and for that to be possible, then either or both of the two numbers must be equal to zero. So we are going to try and equate each of them distinctly to zero. And the first one would be x minus 3 equals zero. And of course, if x minus 3 equals zero, then x is equal to 3. And that happens to be our very first solution uh, to this cubic equation, our first root to the cubic equation. On the other hand, we can also equate x squared plus 3x plus 9 to 0. And as we can see, that is now a quadratic equation. And uh, we can use the quadratic formula to solve this particular quadratic equation and the quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now we can see that uh, from the equation, the quadratic equation there, that our a is equal to 1, which is the lead coefficient in the quadratic equation. Our b is equal to 3 and our c is equal to 9. So all we have to do is to substitute uh, these values of a, b and c in our quadratic formula there. And that means x is equal to minus b minus b is the same as minus 3 because b is 3. So minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 
b squared and b is equal to 3, so 3 squared is 9, minus 4 times a times c, and 4 times a times c is 4, times a which is 1, times c which is 9, and everything is all over 2 times a which is 2 times 1. So that is equal to minus 3 plus or minus the square root of, uh, of course, uh, uh, we have 9 minus 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 times 9 is 36. So we have 9 minus 36 there uh, over 2 times 1, which is the same as 2. We can simplify this further to minus 3 plus or minus the root of negative 27 because 9 minus 36 is 27 negative all over 2 and uh, at this point now we are faced with a new problem because we have a root sign uh, that contains a negative number we are going to be forced to rewrite negative 27 in a way that can uh, enable us convert it into an imaginary number. So we're going to rewrite this as negative 3 plus or minus the root of negative 1 times positive 27. And this is all over 2. Notice we haven't changed a thing because negative 1 times uh, positive 27 would still lead us to negative 27. And because now we have two numbers under the root sign being multiplied, we can uh, split the root sign and end up with negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 27, and everything is out of 2. And then this can be written as negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 is an imaginary number. So we are going to call it i times the square root of 27 uh, to one decimal place is 5.2 and everything is over 2. And of course, uh, i times 5.2, that will give us 5.2i. So we will end up with minus 3 plus or minus 5.2i over 2. And I want to just uh, uh, finish this up here. Uh, uh, remember our x at this point now is minus 3 plus or minus 5.2i, everything over 2. And of course we can split this uh, expression into minus 3 over 2 plus or minus 5.2i over 2. And we can simplify this further to, uh, because uh, 2 goes into 3, 1.5 times, and 2 goes into 5.2, 2.6 times. We can simplify this into negative 1.5 plus or minus 2.6i. And uh, we can see, of course, that we have two values of x here. Uh, the first value of x is minus 1.5 plus, you pick the positive sign, plus 2.6i. The other value of x, the other value of x is minus 1.5 minus 2.6i. So these two uh, will give us the other two roots uh, of this particular equation. So we can see that the solution to this uh, equation, x cubed minus 27, is equal to 0. 
is x is equal to 3 or x is equal to minus 1.5 plus 2.6 i or x is equal to minus 1.5 minus 2.6 i uh, you realize that one of the solutions uh, x is equal to 3 is a real number uh, while the other two solutions are imaginary numbers imaginary numbers there